<laughs> hello, hello, this is Lars, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the Kerbal Engineering Redux. And uh, this is a really cool mod. I actually use it on almost all of my installs, all of my games, because it gives you a lot of information and it doesn't really interfere with the flying or anything else. <clears throat> so let's uh, let's try and just put up a small uh, probe thing here just to start off and You have to place this thing. Uh, I usually just use the computer flight unit because it looks a bit cooler uh, As you can see it actually looks really cool and um, We'll try it now uh, Let's say we're just doing a small probe um, Maybe this is uh, Yeah Let's see, do we have a s small fuel tank here? Uh, let's be fancy and use an adapter to... Oh, that'll look cool. Sure, that, that'll look cool. Oh, um, let's use the <laughs> normal adapter though. Okay, um, when I add an engine here, uh, I think the Poodle... No, the um, LV909 would probably be the best. You can see that this craft itself has a thrust to weight ratio of 2.97 and a delta V of over 3000 which is pretty damn good now as we add more stuff because this probe will of course need some more stuff um, we'll probably need a battery right yeah so you can see now the thrust to weight ratio has gone down delta V has gone down of course because we added more stuff We'll probably need a couple of solar arrays because we're using a bunch of power. You can see the thrust to weight ratio actually decreased a lot because these things are heavy. Compared to the rest of the rocket, these are quite heavy. <clears throat> you can see we used um, this fuel tank. <clears throat> it has a total mass of a bit over one. These actually have mass of... Uh, I just saw it there. Um, 0 0.35. Not too bad, but well, still, still th 2000. That's more than enough to do any corrections. Now, um, we probably want uh, some of these guys just because, well, we might be in a position where we need to adjust something while in, um, in the dark. So, okay, we're less than 2000 and probably an antenna. And let's use one of the long-range ones. I think this one is pretty much long-range. And it's not too heavy. Okay, so let's just put this one on. Yeah, close enough. Looks like a top hat. Let's move it a bit away from the engineer, though. Hello. You look cool. <laughs> All right, so 1.8, right? Oh, I um, should probably take this. Now, um, as you can see, when we add some more stages, we'll just add one stage to, um, let's see, is this, yeah, this is the one, to uh, demonstrate this uh, concept. Now, um, we'll add one of the larger tanks. Our delta V on the top stage hasn't changed because it actually calculates per stage individually. So, um, let's see. With the nuke rocket, we get 4,000 down there, uh, but that's not good enough for takeoff. Let's just add this one, and you can see we have 2,000 more. Let's uh, add a couple of boosters as well, and it it actually deals well with uh, the more complex staging. So if we add, let's see, uh, where's my boosters boosters please uh, you used to play with a lot of mods I can't find anything <laughs> all right so you can see now we get a thousand more from the boosters themselves now if we do this it puts more basically more Delta V here the total will be the same and it actually can't calculates for how long we can burn this at full throttle while these burn out, and when these burn out, it'll calculate how much is left with the uh, in this. 
Now, uh, this is probably not enough to get to orbit, but that's not really the purpose here either. So, uh, let's. I'm just going to show you quickly how the engineer works in flight. So, smallish probe here. Let's just do this. Oh, and as you can see here, we have an apps height of 75 meters, of course. And this is kind of cool that you get this from... Um, from um, n well, you don't need to go into the map screen. You get inclination, and you get it exact, not just an ascending descending node. When yeah, let's fire this one up before it kills over. And I don't have any reaction wheel, so we'll just hope for the best. We can probably slow down a bit. Now you can see the remaining delta v is updated real time. You can see the mass is updated real time. Specific impulse. Uh, like f uh, efficiency, and you can also see the TVR, the thrust to weight ratio is updated. Oh, and our inclination is pulling out because, well, we're going really, really crooked. Alright, let's just keep burning. Now, this doesn't have enough TVR to. Okay, yeah, now it has enough TVR to keep accelerating, that's good. Let's just keel over here and. As you can see, we have more tabs here. Uh, we probably don't need this. This is the rendezvous thing. You can see the phase angles exactly. That's actually a really, really good um, tool. So, for example, if you want to go to the moon, you can see phase angles, intercept angles. The relative inclination is really important. And you can see where in the orbit is where the um, ascending and descending nodes are. <sighs> Now there's something that's um, more a bit more important here, and that's um, this the orbital period. You can see the time to apps and all that stuff. Of course, oh, we are actually good here. Um, we might even get to orbit with this thing. <laughs> that would be great. Now you can see the orbital period, which means that you could actually sink up in a geostationary uh, orbit or a semi stationary orbit and you can sync different um, different um, satellites in the same orbital period which means that they won't drift and this tool is basically if you're doing any real um, real um, satellite work you need this tool to really get it get it um, well if you don't want your satellites to drift you really really need this so uh, this is a great tool. Now, there's one more thing here, and as you can see, we are we are going to intersect, right? Um, let's see, where are we now? Yeah, we're going to intersect, but we probably have to pass by our app apps before we see it. All right. Now you can see here that we have. We don't actually have. Yeah, we have the horizontal speed. We have all that stuff, and. We have, let's see, where is that stuff? Current phase angle. Might actually not do it in um, in um, atmosphere. That's uh, that's a bit, uh, that's a bit uh, of a drag actually. Because, but you actually get longitude and latitude of your impact. So if you're going to hit, if you're going to hit um, the surface at some point when you're in orbit, you'll see it exactly where. So you can plan, for example, a polar uh, polar landing or anything on the moon. It's pretty easy to get that exact. And there's there's a joy in actually making something really exact. You could say that I want to land on the equator. You could just trim that, and you're good. And this is also really cool because you get the sea level and terrain level altitude now uh, of course the terrain is below the sea here but at some sometimes like on the moon it might be a thousand meters off so when you hit a thousand up here you actually hit the ground and that's no good so yeah that was the mod introduction and uh, if you're in doubt try this mod because it's it is really really good now let's uh, burn off our um, panels and crash <laughs> yeah, I hope you liked this uh, video and I hope you find it uh, both interesting and useful. 
there's really not that much to this mod and it doesn't interfere with your flying so I think it's it's pretty much stock even though you have the extra information here it doesn't do anything like mech jab so yeah I'll see you guys next time bye